Hi everyone, now today I'm back in Weybridge Cemetery and I'm going to be visiting the grave of another actor. Now I've come back here because I'm going to visit the grave of Frank Finlay and like I've just said he was an actor in TV and in films and for those of you who don't know who he was Take a look at this movie trailer, which he starred in. From the director of Poltergeist and the writer of Alien comes a terrifying new film. I'm getting a very small radar cross section. 150 miles long. EGR is confirmed. Tell them we have an artificial object out here. In the tale of Haley's Comet, there's something wrong. Something ancient. Something evil. Jesus. Houston, we have a problem. Something's happening to me. Something hungry that's brought to Earth. She's destroyed worlds. That girl was no girl. She was totally alien to this planet and our life form. And totally dangerous. Just found a body in Hyde Park. Life Force. Close your eyes. Visited you how? In my mind. Let it go! It's already spreading. You didn't stop it, it's too late. Come, be with me. Life Force. The terror has just begun. So that was Life Force. 1985, a very good film, one of my favourites. Now I'm currently walking in the older section of Weybridge Cemetery. The last time I came here, I did the grave of Mark Frankel and I walked along the newer section. But today, it's more of the older section here I shall walk through and be showing you the grave of Frank Finlay. And I believe he's buried here with his wife and his son. Now, the chapel's down there, and I know it's going to be shut, so uh, there's no point in going and trying to see if it's open. So, I shall carry on walking on up to Frank Finlay's grave. And we're taking some of the views of the headstones as we walk up. Some really big trees here. It's well kept obviously look after this place and that's the fourth airplane I've seen since coming here this morning and I've only been here for about 10 minutes so Frank Finley Born on the 6th of August 1926 and he died on the 30th of January 2016 and he was an English actor and he was married to Doreen Shepherd and they had three children, Stephen, Kathy and Daniel. Now some of the films he starred in were Doctor in Distress in 1963, Othello in 1965 and The Sandwich Man and the Deadly Bees in 1966, Inspector Clouseau in 1968, Gumshoe and Assault in 1971, and The Three Musketeers in 1973, and The Four Musketeers in 1974, The Wild Geese in 1978, Life Force in 1985, which was the film I showed you at the beginning of, of, of this video, the Return of the Musketeers in 1986 and Silent Cry in 2002 and in 2007 
he was in the waiting room. He earned an Academy Award nomination for the performance as Lago in Othello in 1965 and his first leading television role came in 1971 in Casanova. This led to an appearance on the Morecambe Wise show. Following this, he portrayed Adolf Hitler in The Death of Adolf Hitler in 1972 for London Weekend Television. Now, shall we have a look at a clip of Frank Finlay in The Morecambe and Wise Show? And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet our special guest, the star of that sensational BBC television series, Casanova, Mr. Frank Finlay. Welcome to the show. I know you're going to enjoy working with me. Yeah, as modest as ever. <laughs> I hope I'm going to enjoy working with both of you. Is it? No, don't do that. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. No, look, Frank, I want to talk... Don't panic. What? On your left, mm -hmm. a drunk from the audience. No, it's... <laughs> Leave it to me. Don't worry about it. No. I'll fix it. Fish plot out there. Yes, I'll fix it. Hello, sir! Yeah. I must say, you're not allowed up here, sir, in front of the cameras. We're expecting a guest star of the highest magnitude possible. <laughs> well, if you just get back to where you belong, sir. That's all I ask. Don't want any trouble. Just back to where you belong. <laughs> to that crowd from Bolton. On the back row, sir. <laughs> just watch it. That's all, matey. I'll throw him at you. <laughs> Can I have a word with you, Eric? This is Mr. Frank Finley, our guest star. Eric Morecambe, Frank Finley. Terribly sorry. Please to it's meet the you. glasses. I've got them on. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you must forgive me. I'm sorry about the fracas. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right to say fracas, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, fracas. <laughs> They're looking it up. <laughs> Could take a week. Good. Oh, thank you. It's all right for me to say fracas. Good. Well, I'm pleased to meet you. That's very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. This is Mr. Frank Finley, our special guest star. I picked a good one this week, didn't I? How did you know he was my favourite? He's your favourite, is he? Hey, did... Did you say I was your favourite? Oh, I always say that around this time. Yes. Gosh, gosh, I I'm his favourite. <laughs> You've had all these world-famous people on your programme, you never said that to any of them. Any? No, I'm his favourite. You did mention that. Am yeah. I your favourite? Uh, you're not bad, you're all right. <laughs> never miss your programme, sir. No? Oh, never miss it. I always get excited when you're on TV, don't I? Oh, yes. sure, do you watch it? Ern? He's on! <laughs> Excuse me. When are you and Janet going to come back and do another show? Now, Frank Finley also appeared on American television and he appeared in A Christmas Carol in 1984 playing Marley's Ghost opposite George C. Scott's Ebenezer Scrooge. He also guest starred in an episode of The Black Adder in 1983 opposite Rowan Atkinson. And in 1994, he played Harold Franklin in the fourth series in Heartbeat, episode called Lost and Found. Now, just up there is the other entrance to this cemetery, but we're going to go over there, which is where Frank Finlay is buried. And Frank Finlay was made a commander of the Order of the British Empire in the New Year's Honours of 1984 and he was an honorary doctor of the University of Bolton in 2009. And sadly he died on the 30th of January 2016 at his home in Weybridge, Surrey, England at age 89 from heart failure. And he's buried here with his wife, Doreen, who died in 2005 at the age of 79. And they are both buried there, where the cross is. Let's go over and have a look. Now, I believe the plaque on here is a bit worn, so I'll put on what the plaque should look like. And it says, Doreen Finley, 27th of May, 2005, Frank Finlay, 30th of January 2016. Rest in peace. Over time that has worn away 
the plaque on the cross. Thankfully, I found a picture, which is what it should look like. Now, also buried next to them is one of their sons, and it's their son Stephen Francis Findlay, and he was born on the 30th of November 1956, and he died on the 14th of February 2004, aged 47. And he was an English actor, writer, and artist. And he's buried here with his mum and dad. So you've got. Frank Finley, Doreen Finley and Stephen Finley buried together. And so that wraps this video up again guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. And please remember to like this video if you did like it and remember to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos as well. So from Weybridge Cemetery, I shall say take care and I will see you next time in my next video. So see you next time guys.